what's up my people welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be decoding the act of storing and retrieving javascript object and array in local storage so guys make yourself comfortable relax and enjoy the show if you look at my screen here i have this 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 is a string you will remember that local storage only accepts a string it only accepts the string data type in javascript so if you look at i have this string and uh if you watch here, uh, I'm using the local story dot set item to add this. This is the key. Just you can call this anything. Let me just call it uh, string. So this string here is the key. You know when you want to store a data in local storage, the set item accepts two parameters. The first parameter is the key. That is the name that you want to use. Let me call it a uh, name of uh, data so that you uh, see it very well. Actually, this course is particularly on storing and retrieving of object and array in local storage because local storage only accepts string so i want to demystify the act how you can store and uh, retrieve object and array in javascript so if you come here this first key is the name of the that's what you want to call it okay so this is the data itself or the value that you want to store and this one is the get how you want to retrieve it so if i go to my browser now let me come to my browser this is my browser here okay if i and how do you access it you open your uh, dev, dev console let me open my dev console. When you open your dev console, this is the console where you see your JavaScript. Uh, look at what I'm consoling. So I'm getting it. I'm consoling it out. And how do you as how do you see that local storage? Yeah, it is. Go to your application. This is application. Come here. Then uh, you come to this place. If you watch down here, look at your storage. Look at storage here. So this is storage. Under the storage, you have this uh, local storage and you have session storage, the indexed DB and the cookies. These are other types of uh, uh, web storage. So what is local storage? Local storage is simply a web storage API that you can use to store data on the client side in JavaScript. So if you come here now, let me open this again. You click here. This is how to access it, how to see your, uh, your local storage. So let me show you. If you watch here, you see that I'm storing this here. I'm trying to increase this. Let me close this stuff so you can see it very well. So if you watch here, this is the name. Look at that name here. I, I need to clear this in off a little bit so that you see it clearly. So this is the this is the key. This one you are seeing name of data is the key that I call I I I call it through my code. So here now is the data itself. This is fine. Okay, but now how do you now store the object and array? Let me um uh, let me just take this off. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do now is to simply create an array data. I'll call it. I'll use const keyword and assign this an array. So the first one I'm gonna say subscribe. The second one I'm gonna say to. I'm gonna say uh my. I'm gonna say YouTube. Okay. So let's assume that these are just a simple data. These are simple items that you want to store. It is an array. So how do you store this in um, in local storage? There's what we call serialization of data and the deserialization uh, of data. Let me just quickly do this. And how do you do that? You use the JSON. Since this is not this is not an array, you need to convert. You need to uh, serialize it into string to store it. So I'm just going to do. Uh, let me see. Let me create another uh, another data and call it serialize serialize the uh, what am I writing serialize uh, I'll just simply assign this I'll say json dot string file <coughs> takes in that array if you watch here if I console on this here you see that this is no longer and uh, if I console on this R if I no, not the R. If I console this serialize R, you will see that. Or you can as well call it pass. You can call it a stringify. Okay, so let me just call it serialize. So this serialize R now. This is serialize R. If I console it, you see that you see the way it's gonna look like. It's not just you see, it's no longer uh just a common uh array. Okay, but let me show you something. Now this this data is now okay to be stored on the local storage. I can now simply say local storage or set item the first argument the first parameter is the key i can call it uh, uh our data okay then the, the second one is the second one that it takes is the the data itself serialized let me put in the serialized r there 
So if I go to my local storage again, I think I is any other one. This is the array. This is the array. Blah blah blah. This is the uh, set item. I'm setting it. Let me remove. Let me consider this so I don't get to see this. Uh, just let me comment this. One. So if I come here again now, let me load and be sure everything is fine. Then I come to this local storage. You see that? Look at that. Um, let me clear it off. Look at that add data. You see that we are storing this. Uh, this is an array. And it's well stored here. Look at this array. The value now is, is here already. You see, this is an array and it's working fine. But if I try to store this array, let me just pick this array without serializing it, without uh uh uh, uh stringifying it. See what I'm gonna see what's gonna happen here. Um, look at what I did. I'm just passing this array in here without uh, uh passing it into stringify. So I'll just come here again and you see what's gonna happen. You see that the array, look at the way it is. That uh is no longer. It's not like an array inside our local storage. Look at it here. You see what's happening here under this value. But if I try to put down that uh, serialized data, you see, it's going to be a full array. Look at it. It's going to be a full array. Look at it. So how do you retrieve this as well? If, so if you look at this, if you want to retrieve this, how do you retrieve this data from your local storage? Now, remember that we have, uh, we have, uh, um, we have stringified this stuff here. You want to, if you want to get it back, so what you're gonna do? Let me create a, a new um, let me create a new variable and I'll call it past <coughs> past app. And how do you do that? You're gonna use the JSON dot pass. Remember the JSON dot pass. I'm gonna say JSON dot pass. JSON dot pass. Then I'll call local storage local storage dot get item. Remember you use the get item to retrieve your data. I use the get item passing the key. What is the key? The name of the key. Remember, we call it the add data. So if I come here now, this is the add data. So I can simply console log whatever I'm getting from this uh, pass data variable. So I'll just console log this. Let me give it a key as well. So I'll be sure what it means. So this here now, look, this is the pass R. Look at it now. So if I go to my browser and look at it, it's simply it's just an array that we've just retrieved. Look at it. You see, but if I try to, if I try not to pass this data for retrieving, you see what's going to happen. Uh, let me just, um, let me console log these streets. Let me just console log this local storage. Yeah, remember, I'm taking it up from the past. Let me just, mm -hmm, I will not say not past, not past. Okay, if I say not past, you see the difference, you see the look. You see the difference here. I'm not passed. This, this data is not passed. So this is not a good array. This is not an array. This data you, see, you are looking at here is not, is not an array. It's just a JSON. But if you look at this one here now, this one now is passed. Okay? It's passed. So this is a simple way you can store and uh, retrieve array. So now let's go into object. Let's also see how what you can do with our object as well. I'll just, I think I should remove this console over there. So let me create a simple object. I'll call it... Um, OBJ simple object. I'll just I'll just say name. What's my name? My name is Tempo. And uh, I'll say let me just say last name so I don't waste time. Yeah, I'll say last name is Indigo. Uh, or let me say um, channel. Let me call it channel. Okay, so I can. Oh, this is my name is Indigo Tempo. So this is a channel I'm gonna say temtech temtech here okay so this is a simple uh, a simple object here and how do I store it it's just the same uh, pattern I'm just gonna pass the first of all I'm just gonna stringify this ob ob obj object then I can now store it in a local storage let me simply do let me local storage dot set item I'll pass I'll call it obj data then now passing the data i want to uh, store remember here now i have not passed this i have not stringified this data and if i put it that way it's going to cause a problem let me go to our browser go to our browser if i come here now and go to uh this let me clear it off and start again you see it's writing object object so this is not stringified i need to stringify it and how do i do that i will just simply cut this off and say json dot stringify and this JSON takes in, it takes in the value, that's the data you want to stringify. Look at it. So if I go back there again now, look at it, and I'll reload. 
Look at it. It's not a good JSON. Look at it. It's not a correct JSON. And if I want to retrieve it, how do I retrieve it? Remember that I've just stored this data, this object into our local storage. How do I retrieve it? I'll just simply, I'll, what I'm going to do is to pass it. If you want to retrieve, you pass it. But you want to store, you stringify it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'll just simply create a new uh, variable. I'll call it um, past past obj uh, i will say um i'll say json this json dot pass okay so i'll write my local storage here and say get item and put in the key where is the key the key is uh, the object data i'll just pass this stuff here okay so if i console log this um if i console log this pass obj let me Put in here. So if I console log this here now and go back to my console, you will see that. Let me reload this. We have our object. This is our complete object. Okay. So this is just our cool object. But if I try not to pass it again, let me show you. If I try not to pass it, uh, let me just copy from here. Then duplicate this. Let me duplicate this stuff here. I'll show you something. So guys, if you have a question, please make sure you leave a comment on the uh, YouTube channel. Leave a comment under the video, I'll respond to you. If I have any challenge, reach out to me on Twitter or my uh, my portfolio website. I'll just I'll answer you. So if you come here now, I'm this one, uh, this, uh, line 20, this line 22, I'm not passing this. And I'm trying to, let me call it not pass as well. You see the difference. If I go to my browser again, you see the difference? You see that this is the this one uh, is just a, a pure JSON, and uh, why this is just a pure object, you cannot use this to work on your client like this. Not trade until you stringify until you pass it. Okay, so this is just a simple way to store and retrieve your object and arrays in local storage. Okay, so this video is completely on storing and retrieving objects and array in local storage. So in the next week, I think I'm going to be making a video on complete local storage course and also uh, session storage and the uh, cookies okay so guys if you benefit from what i'm doing kindly like the video subscribe to my youtube channel most importantly okay that's a very simple way to support me and uh, also encourage what i'm doing if you enjoy my videos make sure you subscribe see you next week guys